Mods for Minecraft 1.19.1. In this video, we're going to show you how to get them. However, we are assuming that you already have Forge installed. If you don't, go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for downloading and installing Forge for Minecraft 1.19.1. It goes through everything you need to know to get Forge, and it's all covered. It's all covered here. So go through this entire guide. There's also the video guide at the top. Either one will work for you, and you will get Forge installed. Once you've got Forge, we can go ahead and get some mods. Now, there are so many different Minecraft mods out there, and in the description down below, you have a link to here. This is CurseForge, where most Minecraft mods are hosted. Now, one thing I will mention about CurseForge is that I would recommend searching by version. So you can click all versions here, scroll down, and then make sure you select 1191. Now, there are two different mod loaders out there. There is Fabric, and there is Forge. For this video, we're going to be doing Forge mods. The process is similar for Fabric mods, but not quite exactly the same. Nevertheless, there are tons of different mods here, and as far as mods we're going to be using in this video, we have Journey Map, Cosmetic Armor Reworked, and Inventory Hut Plus. For Journey Map, let's go ahead and go here. This is our website. It's linked in the description down below, and this is an in-depth guide specifically for Journey Map. Once you're here, though, click on the yellow Download Journey Map button, and it will take you to the official Journey Map download page on CurseForge, where we can come over to the right-hand side, scroll down, and as you can see, we are downloading Journey map forge so we want to download the forge version here now we're actually going to be going with the 119.1 forge version which is actually in beta but go ahead and click the orange download button next to this and it will download if there is both a forge and fabric version of a mod by the way you want to download the forge version cosmetic armor reworked is the next one we're going to use and we can come here look at the right hand side and scroll down and then we have a cosmetic armor reworked 119.1 click on the orange download button there as well and the download will begin after a few seconds Inventory Hub Plus is the last one we're going to grab. Same thing, right hand side, scroll down, and as you can see, there's both a Forge and Fabric version of this mod, so we want to download the Forge version here. Click on that, and the download will begin. While this is downloading, how about a smart sponsor? Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own modded Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft hosting, and at Apex, you have 24 hours, 7 day a week support, should you have any issues. They also allow you to install any mods you want, and have over 200 mod packs with one click installation. That means all you've got to do is select a mod pack and start your server, and boom, you are playing a modded Minecraft server. Pretty cool stuff. Again, you can check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown, the XYZ slash Apex to start your very own. 119.1, modded, or vanilla, or forge, or plug-in server, it doesn't matter what you want to do, at Apex Minecraft hosting. Again, that's the breakdown, the XYZ slash Apex. Nonetheless, let's go ahead, and as you can see, all these are downloaded. You may need to keep these, by the way, in the bottom left of Google Chrome, or save them in the center of your screen on Firefox. However, that isn't always the case, so it just depends on your browser and your security settings, but you may need to keep these. As long as you're downloading them from CurseForge, usually they are 100% safe. I'd recommend anything over a million or half a million downloads. That's going to be safe, as you can see, 16 million for this one, and I believe Journey Map, well over 100 million downloads. And go ahead, minimize our browser here. And now we want to move these mods to our desktop just because it's so much easier to use them once they're on your desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this tutorial works on Windows 11. Once you here, go ahead and click download or type in downloads, excuse me. You have this downloads file folder. And here are all of our mods Inventory HUD, Cosmetic Re Armor Reworked, and Journey Map. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Nevertheless, with these on our desktop, let's go ahead and get them installed. Now, again, we're assuming you've already got Forge, so we can go ahead and open up Minecraft here. And then, as you can see, we have our Forge installation, our Forge profile automatically selected here. If you don't have this, go install Forge and go through our guide on installing Forge. It will show you how to get Forge here. Nevertheless, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft with Forge is going to open up, and we can get these mods installed. So here we are, Forge is open, and then from here we want to click on Mods on the main menu. You don't have Mods here, you don't have Forge, so go to our video and get that set up. Nevertheless, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, to install Mods, click on the Mods button on the main menu, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That will open up the Mods folder here, where you want to drag and drop any 1.19.1 Forge mods you want into this Mods folder, right like so. Close out of this, and the mods aren't here, and they're not going to be here until you click Done, and actually quit Minecraft. Then you want to open up the Minecraft launcher again, and again play Minecraft with the Forge installation. As you can see, it's automatically selected for us here. We can then go ahead, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft 119.1 is going to open up with our mods installed. Then from the main menu, you can click mods again, and there are all the mods. Inventory Hub Plus, Forge Edition. 
Cosmetic Armor Rework, and Journey Map. We can obviously jump in-game as well and see all of these active in-game. We join in, Journey Map should go ahead and kind of pop up and say, hey, I'm installed. And then the other mods you can install, or not install, but use just as you kind of play the game. As you can see in the top left up there, there's Journey Map. And sure enough, if we press J, here is Journey Map. What's new? Multi-world support, all this awesome stuff. Great there. But if you close this, this is the big advantage of Journey Map. You can see all of this loading out. And this is basically the map around you. From here, you can also set waypoints, do awesome stuff like that. At the bottom here, I believe we can go into our waypoints editor. If we want to do a new waypoint here. We could do like, this is called spawn. We can make it this blue here, save. And then if we go back in game, we will see that there is a spawn waypoint. At least there should be. We've also got the inventory HUD mod here on the bottom left and bottom right. And then last but not least, I believe if we go ahead and hit E and then go into our armor, we should have cosmetic armor. Yes, we do. There it is. There's cosmetic armor. Awesome stuff. So that is how you can install mods in Minecraft 1.19.1 using Forge. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Where's the spawn waypoint? There it is. <laughs> we were on top of it, so it wasn't working. So there's the spawn waypoint that is working. If you go ahead and hit J again, we can go back in here and set other waypoints. For example, by just double clicking on any area, we can set waypoints there. Let's go ahead and say this is a snow village. Snow village. And then we'll make this yellow. Save. And now we can actually use that waypoint as a way to go there. So snow village is over here because we found it on the map. And we can come over here and there it is. There is the snow village. Cool stuff, right? Love it. Nevertheless, that is how you can use Journey Map. That is how you can use these mods and how you can install any mod in Minecraft 1.19.1. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more incredible Minecraft videos every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.